of Seneca Media fam. It's your girl, Devin. Asha. And we're here at Seneca at York. We both went to this campus, but we still don't really know where everything is. So we thought we'd help you guys out and ourselves out by showing you guys around. Let's go. Let's go. So as soon as you walk through the front doors, you're gonna see registration, financial aid, security, and back there, student services. So let's go check them out. So, what happens at registration, you ask? Excellent question. Well, apart from registration, you can request for a transcript, you can request for proof of enrollment for OSA, you can get your credits transferred, pay some fees, apply for graduation. A lot of stuff happens over here, so remember. <laughs> Financial aid office. Hello everyone, welcome to Student Services. Over here we provide general help and information to students. For example, we have First Nations, we have Student Life and Student Leadership programs. We offer career services here as well. So if you have any questions regarding how Seneca Campus works, how where to navigate, how to find your professors, you can always come here for help. Okay, so after student services, you've also got counseling and accessibility office. If you ever need to stop by to talk to somebody or if you have accessibility needs, you talk to them. And then finally at the front, we have security. So if you're ever here late at night and you feel unsure about things, just stop by and see these guys. Okay guys, time to head inside the library. There's the computing commons, there's books, there's study places, and there's more nice places to sit. Also, you can charge your phones, check this out. Okay, so we found our way to library services. This is where you can take out these books. The books back there you can use within the library, they're all textbooks. If you're ever looking for a book or a subject matter, you can go onto their website, which you can access through Blackboard, or you can always ask them for help. So now we're outside the group study room. So this is where you can come and do your group work and have a little bit of quiet time. I mean, usually you'd be with a group, but... I'm with a group. Okay. The best part about the library is all of these computers. It gets pretty packed in here. If you guys are in the School of Media, chances are you're going to become pretty familiar with this area. This is where all the editing suites are. If you're looking to book any of these, you go up to AV Services and they will take your name and give you a key. Another place you're definitely going to become familiar with is one of our television broadcasting studios. There's the control room, there's post-production suites, and a great big studio with huge green screen. We're now outside the smaller studio, which has editing suites on either side of it, a control room, and then into the studio. There's also another green screen in here. Okay, so we're outside the one card office now. This is where you can get your one card printed. They'll take your photo. You can put money on it. You can also get stuff printed here. So now we are outside the cafeteria. This is where you're gonna refuel, very important. You got pizza, you got poutine, you got salads, you got sandwiches, you got drinks and lots of places to sit and you can always bring your own food and microwave it. So if you're coming from the bus loop, Go Transit, Viva, this is probably the entrance you're going to come in. It's towards the back of the school, but it's the closest to the cafeteria. It's also beside athletics. This is probably one of our favorite parts of Seneca at York, the courtyard. It looks good pretty much every season and as soon as the slightest warm weather hits, everybody hangs out here and it's a great time. If you can't find somewhere to sit in the cafeteria or the library or the hallway, there's always these little sections at 
the end of the halls that are great to sit at. They're pretty quiet and there's ports for you to charge everything here. One of the more iconic classrooms at Seneca at York are the kaleidoscope rooms. This is the lower one. Come check it out. So after we leave the kaleidoscope room, we're walking along the hallway back to the front door where we started, and then we're gonna show you upstairs.